Welcome everyone. Today, being the 9th of February, we received update 1.12 for Gran Turismo Sport. It was a pretty small update. This one basically is just a selection of handling updates, so no new content in the game. But I thought I'd like to keep you guys up to date with uh, all the update news for Gran Turismo Sport. The, um, the main two bits of pieces that have been changed is that the traction control has been adjusted to improve handling. As ever, I'm unable to provide any insight on what the changes are because I don't use traction control, so I don't know what it felt like before. The second change, uh, a little bit perhaps more uh, major, is that the, the following car's stability has been changed to improve their handling while cornering. So it goes on to list uh, a whole selection of Group 1 cars. Uh, there's a couple of Group 3 cars and also a couple of Group 4 cars. Now, I've had very little experience driving Group 1 cars. They're not really my cup of tea. Um, however, I, I'm normally pretty lazy and I don't, you know, when I see a change like this, I, I normally just go, eh, okay, whatever, I'm sure it will be fine. Um, but I figured, you know what, I'm going to actually see if I can notice any difference. So I, I took the Ferrari 458 Italia GT3 out onto Nürburgring GP, which is a course I know fairly well, so I thought that would make sense, and I think it's the last GT3 car that I drove. It's either that or the uh, the Lamborghini Huracan. Anyway, the conclusion is I either can't remember or I can't tell any difference between this and before, so <laughs> so basically it's pretty inconclusive. I, I have no idea what they've changed, but you know, the car feels kind of okay, I guess. I, I don't really know what to say. Um, maybe you guys, if, you, if you've noticed something different, pop it down in the comments below. Uh, and those of you who do use traction control, feel free to leave your your comments down below as well. There's been a few other bug fixes. Uh, some issues with the searching in discover mode and uh, some infinite loading screen when you change a... Uh, a livery and various other issues have been addressed. You know, the one thing I really want them to actually fix is this stupid uh, refueling notice on the screen. Like, I don't think it's a bug, but it's the most annoying thing ever. Um, and I kind of feel like surely it can't be that hard to to change that. So that's what I'm hoping for. Um, Polifity Digital, if you're if you're listening, get rid of that sign. Nobody wants it. Anyway. I hope you guys found this uh, video helpful. As always, the patch notes will be in the description, so you can go and have a look yourself. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Popping. <laughs>